this is the PL103 logger. It's used to check the energy consumption, basically log the energy consumption of equipment. And basically energy as you run your equipment, you're able to see how much uh, the, the equipment is consuming. We are connecting uh, the voltage. You have the voltage connected here. Then you have the, uh, what you call the current CG, current transformer, being connected at this point. The current transformer basically picks the current, the voltage picks this voltage, clips pick the voltage, so that at the end of the day, we are able to calculate power, which is in kilowatts or watts. That means that is voltage times current. If you check here, we have uh, the voltage being logged. This is the line to line. This uh, is the power that we are getting. And this is the demand, KVA. So at the end of the day, we are multiplying current times the voltage to get uh, power. Currently, we are running the pocket machine, which is basically consuming uh, 5.9 5 going up and down. It keeps going up and down because another machine is connected, which binds from the pocket machine, we are supplying to another machine, which binds the, the, the springs that have been pocketed. Now, to another form, which now going to make matters. That's why we have the fluctuation uh, up and down. We can connect the same machine um, to a laptop here. We have uh, its software. PL, we can be able to monitor from the computer and we can actually set up uh, the machine from uh, the computer itself. Uh, it's taking a while to load, but it's loading. So, uh, meanwhile, if we are to stop the pocket machine there, you notice that, uh, for example, if we may check out the circuit breakers, I'll switch off the circuit breaker, then you'll notice there'll be a drop in the consumption. I'm switching off the circuit breaker for one uh, of the machines. Notice what is happening. We switched off. Notice now we are not going to the five the six that we're going to we are talking about a stable four because now it is one machine running i'll switch it on again and you see what happens now the the machine has been switched on of course right now the power consumed is small but once you switch on the machine fully it comes on now the laptop is loading and now we are here Uh, we can check the machine. We are able to uh, to start it up. We will start it up using the USB. We are going to next. We should detect the instrument automatically because it, it is connected. We check it out again. here it has detected already we have this blue tick here meaning it has detected uh, the machine uh, if you can check now we can come to the real-time data where we're able to see the voltage being the voltage being supplied and the current notice that we've gone down because now the machine is off as we are talking now we have the phaser diagram which gives the current rotation, the voltage rotation and the power uh, rotation which will be about 120. Now the current rotation is giving us a question mark because the machine uh, is not running. Now what is the power being consumed? Right now we are talking about line 1 consuming 0.47 and the total is 0 0.710 because this is idle power the machine uh, is not running now these are the same values that we'll get at the logger if we check the logger those are the same values we are getting we're getting 0.7 that is what is running and this is idle uh, power thank you for for watching that and 
we do this uh, this machine this machine basically is used for uh, large consumers but of course there are smaller gadgets that you can use and you can use this actually to check how efficient is your equipment for example an equipment could be rated say 10 kW or oh, let us use a simple example uh, of uh, uh, what we call let's say a blender a blender could be rated at 1.5 but as you run the blender, you realize it consumes more. So that is what uh, this machine will be able to tell you what you are running in real time, what you are consuming in real time. But this is an industrial machine that normally we use for industry. It, the, the rating, the voltage rating is uh, about uh, uh, a thousand volts, the same with current. So you're able to measure large power and you'll be doing well. So uh, um, I'm Richard, and Richard is an energy auditor licensed by EFRA, and basically what we do is energy audit, try to ensure facilities, homes and consumers basically reduce uh, their consumption at the end of the day. Now I want us again to focus at the machine. Now I'm going to switch off again. Now we'll want to remove the base load so that we are consuming zero. Now I've switched off one machine that was um, basically heating glue. Notice we've gone to 37. That is what should be. Now, when you're not using a machine, please ensure it has been switched off anytime. Now, this is the other base load for the other machine. I'll again switch it off. And notice uh, these are part of the losses, but we expect it to go even lower because there's nothing being consumed on that line except a bulb that I can say that is running uh, on the same line. So basically, this will help you to understand where and how you are able to save. The essence of this, make sure you save, make sure you understand where and how you consume energy. Thank you so much.